I'm gonna let y'all know I have been enjoying no sports lately. Welcome to Kyle's Take. Today, I got a clip from Paul Pierce telling us what's going to be going on in the NBA when they resume play in Orlando. In it, he gives a little insight into where the NBA's allies truly are. Plus, Ramona Shelburne and Zach Lowe are reporting the NBA and the Players Association are all planning to paint Black Lives Matter on all courts when play resumes in Orlando next month. The WNBA also discussing doing the same when they return to play. Paul, what is the significance to you of seeing Black Lives Matter on an NBA court? It just shows, you know, the willingness of the league, Adam Silver, of tackling social injustice issues head on first and allowing the league, the players, to, to voice their opinion. Putting the Black Lives Matter on the center court is amazing. How are we going to be able to express our social issues when we come back into the bubble uh, of the NBA? Here is one way. Every night that you play on this court, you will see the wording, Black Lives Matter. Guys are going to have t-shirts that say certain things about their social injustice. Wow. All right, let's talk about it. It was organized in 2012 following Trayvon Martin's murder by George Zimmerman. Now, I'm going to be honest. Back then, I was screaming Black Lives Matter too. But we all grow up, and after educating myself, never again. All of the organizers, Garza, Colors, and Tormetti, have all come out as being trained Marxists. Opal Tormetti and Patrice Colors. Here's Colors in a revealing 2015 interview. We actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Visit the Black Lives Matter website and read the list of demands. And they've come out with their main target this year as being to defeat Donald Trump. Black Lives Matter also looks to destroy the nuclear family. You know, the thing that black people need rebuilt and, and strengthened the most, they want to destroy that. They support illegal immigrants. The same people coming and taking low-wage and low-skill jobs, a lot of which have, are taken by black people. They also look to expand on the gender spectrum. So right now we have about 278. So they just want to go to like infinity and beyond and dismantle the cisgenders. So people like you and me, you know, people that were born normal, they want to dismantle us for our cisgender privilege. They also want to free black women. So women like Serena Williams, Beyonce, Candace Parker, they want to go out there and have all their shackles taken off. And a whole bunch of LGBTQIAA, TUV, XYZ indoctrination so that black women could then turn around and say they can't find a straight black man. So that's who Black Lives Matters is. Anyway, Paul Pierce, you are ridiculous. You belong in that group with Snoop and T.I. All of y'all are ridiculous. And all y'all black athletes and entertainers that are pushing this narrative and pushing this stupidness on your own people. You're pushing the destruction of your own people. I'm with Marcellus Wiley. Y'all can keep Paul Pierce. Y'all keep that headband. That was a that, that, that was a Lil Wayne reference in case you didn't know. But I'm not watching this season for a bunch of rich, young, black men to tell me how oppressed they are. You know, with names on their backs of their jerseys that they won't even fact check. Names like Eric Gardner, Mike Brown, even Rayshard Brooks might pop up on one of their jerseys. Because the NBA has already shown that they're sleeping with China. And they will do whatever and follow King or Queen James or whatever they call him. He ain't my king. Whatever they call him, they'll follow him to undermine the U.S. The U.S. government, economy, the people. That's why even Paul Pierce mentions he wants other leagues to watch what they're doing and follow them. And the NBA standing with Black Lives Matter shows exactly what they're supporting. And the, NBA, and the WNBA is going to do it too. But we all know the deal with those views. <laughs> you all say Black Lives Matter. So where? You're not speaking up for Tyshawn Lee, David Dorn, Patrick Underwood, Makai James, Sequoria Turner, Devon McNeil. Damn, there's so many. so And many more Black Lives lost. 
and black families ruined. That'll never be the same. But you keep on saying black lives matter. Black lives matter. Yeah, yeah. When the NBA opens it up, let's have it all on the on the floor so that everybody that watches it keeps on pushing Black Lives Matter's agenda. But as for me, I'm tuned out for this SJW PC NBA League this year. Miss me for real, for real. But you tell me. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I in the middle? Do you agree? Disagree? Do you think Paul Pierce has a point with, with the NBA putting Black Lives Matter and pushing that agenda this season through their jerseys and putting the logo on the court? Or do you think this is not what we need? Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization that does not need to be pushed. They do not need multi-millionaires. They already have politicians. They already have mainstream media. They, they don't need sports. When I go to sports, I want to see sports. I want to see basketball, football, track and field, swimming, whatever it is, golf. I don't want to see politics. When I'm ready to go to politics, I'll put on the news or I'll put on alternate media. I'm not going to put on an NBA game. Let me know down below your take and be safe. <laughs>